The Health Minister, Dr. Joe Pasla, and Health MEC, Nomantun Komo Ralehoko, are visiting the site of the gas tank explosion in Boxburg. This after 10 people died, with scores of others injured and hospitalized. Mpumalanga Health MEC Sazekani Manzini will this morning visit the Tonga Hospital in Komazi to monitor the measles vaccination process and also welcome Christmas newborns. Mpumalanga and Limpopo have recorded the highest number of measles cases so far, which has prompted the health department to encourage parents to vaccinate their children. News of Africa's Mweli Masilela is monitoring that story for us and he joins us live from the Tonga Hospital. Mweli, how is the vaccination drive going so far in that province? Uh, Hugo, I can tell you that uh, the vaccination drive has been going uh, smooth so far because uh, what we have seen is that uh, the provincial health department is not only focusing uh, in the health facilities as many people are moving uh, to different destinations this first of season. We've seen on the roadblocks that the department has also uh, dispatched a team of health professionals that are uh, actually vaccinate, uh, vaccinating the children there. We've seen parents uh, bringing their children for vaccination. So, but the MEC is not only here for uh, the issue of the measles outbreak, she is also welcoming uh, Christmas babies uh, here uh, in this part uh, of the province. Let's just speak to her about the latest the MEC. I think it would be proper to start with the issue of the measles outbreak. We know that according to the uh, National Institute uh, for Communicable Diseases, uh, Limpopo and Bumalanga are the leading provinces in as far as the cases are concerned. Tell us about your plan here. Is this outbreak a serious issue in this province? Thank you very much and uh, greetings to the viewers at home. Uh, indeed, as a province, you remember that uh, uh, we said that we do have cases of measles in the province and so far we have 64 cases. And uh, immediately we dispatched teams, as you are correctly saying, that in, in the border gate, in your roadblocks and also outreached. And so far we managed to vaccinate over 58,000. And uh, of which is uh, something that we welcome, that the, the parents are heading to the call, that they must bring their children so that we vaccinate them. But we'll continue doing that. And uh, we, we believe that also awareness campaign uh, in terms of the mothers as they deliver today, one of the messages that we are telling them is that they must make sure that they bring their children to the clinic in terms of uh, the vaccine that they're supposed to take as uh, babies. As you are talking about some more than 50,000 vaccinated, uh, does that mean that you are happy with the response in as far as parents are concerned? Yeah, we are happy because they are responding. Because you can't take teams around the communities and there is no one who's coming. So as we work with the municipalities, what councillors in our outreach, they are able to respond. I remember we had another event where we vaccinated more than 300 people at the go. So indeed, we really appreciate that they are coming out as we make sure that we tell them that the teams are there and we are also confirming that in terms of the roadblock, they are there. Our teams are there for vaccine and not only that, any other diseases we do are much check in terms of your diabetes, your hypertension. So we, all, we are promoting uh, Impilo Yabantu so that people are healthy. As they go to Christmas, they don't forget that they still have to make sure that their health is celebrated. Mm. Uh, we've seen you uh, also with the officials here handing over some gifts, showering the newborns with gifts. Uh, if you can give us an update, how many newborns do we have uh, at the stage in the province? In the province so far, we are at 40 and three sets of twins. And uh, also in this particular hospital, we are at five. And one of the deliveries, the, the mother is from Swaziland. So it tells you that being a neighboring uh, municipality, we do have got uh, parents and patients that are coming from Swaziland and Mozambique. So that's where we are now. But of serious concern is the five out of the 40 are teenagers. And even last year, we raised the very same thing, that we must continue working with the municipality and the community at large in terms of awareness campaign. But of course, our teams are moving around the schools to do awareness campaign in terms of teenage pregnancies. Out of the five, one is a 16-year-old delivering second baby. It's a serious concern that uh, as a province we believe that we have elevated that into our cabinet so that we must work together with key stakeholders in dealing with this issue of teenage pregnancy. But so far, we have got also two sets of twins that we have uh, delivered as a province at the Atlanta district. And then lastly, MEC, during this time of the year, uh, sometimes we experience a lot of accidents and also maybe people fighting in taverns and so on. In terms of state of readiness, uh, are all 
your plans in place to ensure that if there's an influx in health, fa health facilities, people will be attended to. Yes, remember we launched our contingency plan as a province during this festive season and indeed we are monitoring that. Of course we are seeing uh, accidents are happening but our teams are ready in the different hospitals to attend to them. But we want to uh, also head, say to our people, as you enjoy yourself, don't drink and drive, stay at home and uh, because by so doing you'll be assisting us also as a department so that we don't have so many people being stabbed, being killed, accident at once because you can never have enough personnel if in terms of the behavior of the community. But so far, we are managing very well and we hope that uh, we know that on the 31st, that's where people, they don't sleep, they'll be drinking and all that, but we hope that they drink responsible and stay at home so that they can be safe and uh, be live longer as, uh, as people of the province and of the country. All right, thank you very much for talking to us, uh, MEC. Uh, Hugo, that's MEC for Health in Pomalanga, Sasakani Manzin, while well, giving us an update in as far as the vaccination is campaign, uh, campaign is concerned of measles, as well as an update uh, on the Christmas babies and also uh, the contingency plan that they've launched to ensure that uh, in case there's an influx of people needing health care, they will be attended to. It's back to you, Hugo. Well, thanks for your time this morning. Are we